Silvio, tough game, of course. You guys made it very close. Just an open statement from your perspective, please. Uh, would you repeat the question for me, please? Sorry. Sorry. Just an open statement from your perspective as a player for the game. Um, no, I just want to say I think uh, we 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 play we play great. You know, we just um, we give it we gave it out, and uh, and I think that's the, that's the thing that's, that mattered the most. Just you know, we stayed together, we believed, and uh, you know. And that's, that's what we're going to continue to do. Thank you. Coach, just an open statement from you on your team's performance in this game. Well, um, um, it's clear that uh, it was not an easy game uh, from the mental side because first uh, we want to win the game and second we want to win the game by more, more than 10 points, you know. And this gives you uh, extra tension, extra motivation and um, sometimes make you and cause you to, to get some mistakes. But I think the players, they were fighting, I mean, all the way they gave all out. And, and well, this is, a, this is a good game for us also to learn. We try to get uh, to play very big, some, sometimes with three very big guys. And then uh, we get some mistakes. Um, Defensively, um, probably our intensity start to get a little bit uh, lower that uh, that I like, and after that too, we miss so many free throws. Uh, we have a good night shooting from outside, and uh, you know, at the end, uh, the other team scored 26 free throws. So this is 23 from them, and we miss already 13. So that's a big difference for us. Uh, it hurt us a little bit. Like to open up for questions for both Silvio and Coach Pep Claris. Yes. Hi, Coach. Yeah, you limited uh, Carl Anthony Towns to just single digits after monster performances against Italy and Gilas Filipinas. Your thoughts on that? Well, my thoughts are uh, it's going to look a little bit. Um, how can I say it? But uh, we want to play with Towns. We, we, our plan was playing with Towns. We want to attack uh, Towns' pick and roll. We want to attack his defense. We want to attack some weaknesses that we believe that the team, Dominican Republic, have when Towns is playing. And once he's out, the team play totally different. And we know that it could happen. But obviously, uh, all this uh, change a lot because when you want to play big, like in our case, we want to play with three big guys. And on the other team, they play with four guards. It's, it's hard for them. We get 21 offensive boards, but it's hard for us also to play aggressive on defense with guards, you know. Uh, and our bigs, they were doing uh, all they can. And our guards, too, we're trying to do our best. And... This is a team that we are competing and win options to win. A team who beat uh, Canada, you know, a team who beat Italy, and a team that almost beat Spain. So um, this is a good team also, no? It's not only about Angola. It's also about uh, the job, and they're doing a very good, very good job. Yeah. Yes, Chester. Uh, oh, up, sir. Bruno Fernando was fouled out. Guess so five minutes in the uh, fourth quarter. Do you think uh, it affected the result for your team, sir? Well, I think that uh, Bruno Fernando is a very important player for us. And it's, it's, it's sad because most of you review all the fouls. They are one foul with the hands like this. That is the player going against him. Another one that he's driving and is not even his player. Another one that he's on the help and he's trying to avoid the contact. So I think that, uh, well, um, it's obviously that it affects probably the game. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's sad also because uh, he's not having minutes in three years. And now that we're giving him a lot of minutes, the ref, they're limiting his minutes today. So hopefully on the next one, maybe he can play a little bit longer. Good evening, Cesare Milanti from Europe. So I have a question for our coach. Uh, two days ago, following uh, 
your your victory, you said you addressed the difficulties that African teams has to face in competition like this, also to go towards the Olympics. After yesterday, historic day with three teams, three African teams winning, I was wondering what were your your feelings yesterday after seeing these results. Imagine, imagine how difficult it's going to be for all of us. That. Uh, Imagine, not only for us, only for the other teams. Imagine that uh, maybe Cape Verde won, but maybe still can finish on the fourth position. Um, South Sudan uh, won, and maybe he's not going to go on the on the bracket. You know, it depends also of the other results. What is going to happen with Georgia? What is going to happen with China? So all of this, even on us, no? What's going to happen tonight with Philippines, Italy? So we are always on this scenario where it's very, very difficult to compete. But it looks like African got a lot of talent. Um, you can see it on NBA, but you can see it in Europe. And, and in here in the World Championship, maybe even some countries from Asia, they will go to the four bracket. That means that uh, with the difficulties that we have, mm, Africa is getting better. Uh, we're trying our best, you know. My only concern, as I told you, is uh, that uh, it's very difficult if you go to the pre-qualifiers for the Olympics with six teams and three or four from Europe, one or two from, from America and, and yourself. It's get very difficult to go to the Olympics with only 12, 12 spots for African teams. It's difficult for everybody, but for us it's, it's complicated. It's complicated. Any more questions? Any questions for the Portuguese person? Quero começar por felicitar o Bruno por este que eu considero um excelente jogo de bar. He wants to congratulate Silvio. Silvio, no, for this is Bruno. Silvio. As minhas felicitações por este grande jogo de basquetebol. Acho que hoje foi estiveste enorme. He said he was so big. Nós sentimos que, a determinada altura do jogo, Angola poderia ganhar, como o adversário também acabou mesmo por ganhar. Sentimos hoje, nos momentos cruciais, quando os nossos lançamentos tinham de aparecer, hoje não apareceram, nós atirámos 21 vezes e marcámos apenas duas. Estou a falar dos triplos. Pensas que isto terá condicionado também o resultado? Ele, sorry, ele está dizendo que ele sentiu que nós podíamos ganhar o jogo. Há um momento em que nós não estávamos bem, nós só fizemos dois ou três. Então, qual é a sua impressão, Silvio? Não, em português, ok. Em português, ok. Em português, ok. Eu acho que tudo isso começa pela defesa, you know. Everything starts on defense. Everything, tudo começa na defesa, nós tentamos, damos o nosso melhor. E acreditamos, conforme disse há pouco, acreditamos que a defesa será o nosso jogo e, We believe on that. e procurar não, fazer a paragem dos, dos pick and rolls, essas coisas todas. We try to do the pick and roll nós, stuff. Lançamentos de fora do campo, um, pá, nós, again, nós acreditamos. We então, believe e as bolas não entravam, that the ball não, não will go in, but they didn't go in today. Mas não foi o motivo na qual o jogo uh, deu. But deu, it was not the teve cause or the, the why we lost. Teve o resultado que teve, porque... Um, Epa, nós, acho que no final do jogo epa, foi, foi cansado, nós, mas nós continuamos, we continuamos, continuamos a lutar, lutar, we damos kept o nosso fighting, melhor. Uh, coach, qual a razão de tanta, tanta diferença entre, nas percentagens? No primeiro jogo, por exemplo, em triplos fizemos 14%, no segundo fizemos 29%, Neste 9,5%. O Lucani foi o MVP ontem, hoje fez um ponto. O Shield foi o único que fez dois, dois triplos, em 21 fez dois. Os outros 19 triplos lançados e falhados. Uh, ganhamos mais ressaltos ofensivos que o adversário, 21-10, mas depois falhamos -nos também nos dois pontos em que temos uma porcentagem de só de 35%. He's talking about the e no lance livre we também so baixámos, no In lance livre estávamos nos 70 e tal por cento, e fazemos 53%. Qual é a razão deste? Even on the other games. What's the reason? Well, the reason is that the players try to... La razão é que os jogadores não lançam a falhar. The players don't shoot to miss. They shoot to make. 
they are trying, ellos intentan, más a veces la bola no entra y cuando no entra, cuando no entra, lo único que puedes hacer es entrenar más. And when the ball doesn't go in, the only thing you can do is practice more, shoot more. And um, the problem, el problema, el problema de que nos estamos a llegar no es un problema de fase un mes y medio que nos estamos con el examen. Uh, the problem is not uh, the last month and a half. The problem that when the shooter is not shooting, it may be because during the all his career is not shooting well. Normalmente es porque toda su carrera que están comenzando algunos, uh, some, some of them they're starting, no están tirando bien. Y tú tienes que entrenar lanzamiento durante 10 meses, durante 12 meses, durante años. Aquí nos tenemos unas limitaciones con lanzamiento exterior importantes. Mas no en la selección, no todo el país. We have a limitations on that, not only on the, on the national team, on the, on the country. We only have maybe three or four pure, pure shooters. Some of them, they are already very, very young. Some of them already very, very, very old. And we still have to develop this. But aún tenemos que desarrollar muchos jugadores de estos. Más es una de las limitaciones que tenemos. Equipo de Sudáfrica, de South Sudan, mesmo. También, más me decís, no, más a un jugador, que un jugador que fica muy tos triples, sí, más que no es, no es de South Sudan, es americano. Y I'm saying that uh, also other countries too, Senegal o Nigeria, when they play, on, and now South Sudan, that they have some shooters, but, but it's different, because we didn't naturalize any player. We don't sign any import, that obviously if we sign a shooter, it could be easier. We maybe we are one of the only countries that we don't have anybody more than Angolans. Nos we are betting from Angolan product and nos apostamos por o jugador angolano y tenemos que crear lanzadores. Ma no los creamos hoy ni a mañana. Los creas durante años y años y años de trabajo. Y esto es una una cosa que tenemos pendiente. No solamente este. Tenemos que crear bases grandes. We also have to create pointers with size. We have two or three good projects, but still very, very young. So this is our one of our weaknesses that from the future we, we have to work very, very hard, but not only for today or tomorrow, for the next years, because we are missing this for los siguientes años. Estamos a, a notar que falta mucho. Lanzamiento exterior, bases grandes que dirigen el juego. Os he visto el juego, los dos jugadores de ellos, son dos bases base de selección, los dos bases, uno máximo de la ACB, otro base titular de un equipo que juega Eurocopa, los dos son bases con estructura, gallos de 1,91-92, two pointers from them, they play one ACB in Eurocup, the other one is the leader scorer, uh, all of them 6'3, 6'4, 95 kilos, our pointers, both they are very, very skinny, still very young, So we have to develop this. Tenemos un, una limitación es que tenemos que mejorar. Y la otra es, puedes hacer esto, asignar un, un americano que ya ofrece todo el mundo. Aquí todos los agentes ofrecen americanos, si quieren, los tienes fácil. We can sign an import, like most of the national teams, and, and maybe we're going to score more threes. But this is, I don't believe this is correct. And I think, I really think that FIBA must stop this as soon as possible. Otherwise, in some years, it will be no local product. We need to develop, each county need to develop their own players. This is what I think. And uh, there, are, there are players that they never, they didn't speak, they don't, they don't speak the language of, their, of the country that they represent. There are countries with seven, eight players that they are born outside their country. I selecciones con siete, ocho jugadores que han nacido fuera. Coach Pep Claros, thank you so much. Silva de Souza and all the best to you in the next games. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.